Hey guys, Joe DeMarco from the Crazy New York Driver Show. Today is Monday, March 25th, 2024. Welcome to another eBay video. Today we're going to have a lighthearted look at what I call the Louisiana Purchase eBay style. For those of you guys who've been watching my videos for any length of time, I have always said that there is no one state that more trouble than the state of Louisiana. I swear to Jesus, if I could exclude Louisiana, I would do it in a heartbeat. I never have any luck with that state, and anytime something sells, there's always an issue. So, I want to try and bring a smile to your guy's face tonight when I show you something that happened to me on Saturday. Let me set the stage, if I may. Saturday was my slowest eBay day ever, meaning I made no money. The whole day, I made no money. However, I had one offer, and that's what we're going to talk about right now. Take a look at the timestamp here. This was Saturday the 23rd. And 12.09 is Pacific time. That means 3.09 p.m. my time here in the New York area. So I get an offer of $25 on a $45 item. So the item is a dog item. I have no problem giving the customer a break. None whatsoever. eBay tells me I'm going to be paid right away. That's good news. What could possibly go wrong? So I happen to look at the buyer's location, and they're located in Louisiana. Oh, Jesus mercy, I said. No, don't let it be. Please don't let it be. But it was Louisiana. Now, the item's a dog. I don't mind selling it for $25. But I know beyond any doubt the sale's not going to go well because it's going to Louisiana. So I went ahead and accepted the offer. Let's say let's say 12 10 p.m. Pacific time, okay? Now I'll show you what happened next. Okay. 12 14 p.m. no more than 4 minutes later the buyer writes to me, "Can you cancel this? It was an accident." Now, I've heard of people accidentally clicking buy it now on their phone and accidentally buying an item. But can you please tell me how anybody could click on send offer and then manually type in $25, then click send offer and claim it was an accident. But in Louisiana, this is normal behavior. So again, look at the timestamp here. We're now at 12.14 p.m. Before I can even react to that message, it is now 12.16, and I get an official cancellation request that the buyer sent through eBay. Again, I have the arrows here for a reason. Take a look. This all happened March 23rd. eBay tells me if I accept the cancellation, I have till March 26th. Please keep that date in mind while I go on to the next screen. In less than one minute before I can react to that message, I get a third message from this joker saying, please cancel this order. Thanks. See it? That is three cancellation messages in approximately three minutes. I realized right then and there the person is either psychotic, stupid, or desperate for that $25. So, you guys know what my policy is with cancellations. As long as I haven't printed the shipping label, I will accept the cancellation. So, I fully intend to accept the cancellation in this case. 
But, but, I have to be strict but fair about this. I have to instill a lesson and teach the buyer that they entered a binding contract and that this kind of behavior should not be tolerated. So, as I said, it is now the 25th of March. We're now going to go to my open cancellations. Well, golly gee, it's still open. We're going on, actually we're past 48 hours. See, March 23rd, today is March 25th. Tomorrow is my last day to close it out. And I will definitely accept the cancellation. Would you guys like to take a guess how many returns I have open right now? Now, those of you guys who watched my video last Friday night, well, you guys have a leg up because you know I had three open then. But of course, that doesn't mean anything. Do you want to see how many I have open right now? Let me go over them all for you, if I may. These two I showed you last Friday night. And these, I gave the people their money back already, but they're not going to close out for at least 14 more working days because I toggled off the original shipping. Too bad. They purchased the wrong items. They're going to pay the shipping back. I told you about this one on Friday. This guy didn't even get his item, and he filed a return request. So I don't know what the deal is going to be with that. That's going to be fun. Now we have this one. This one came in, I think, yesterday. No, this one came in today. This one came in today, the 25th. Doesn't fit. The problem here with this guy is he's being honest. He made a mistake. But this freaking eBay guaranteed fitment program is killing all sellers because they're going to try and make me give him back all the money. Shipping both ways and the purchase price because the buyer made a mistake. He didn't know what wheel he had. And if you, I'm not going to open it up now, but he admits that he purchased the wrong item because he has a different size wheel. The buyer's honest. eBay guaranteed fitment isn't. Okay, that's number four. Now we'll go on to this one. This also came in today. Wrong item sent. She claims she made the purchase and it doesn't fit her vehicle. I totally understand that. But she wants me to send her one that will fit the vehicle. And I said, I'm not doing it. Uh-uh. I sold you the one you purchased. If you made a mistake, fine. Send it back. I'll give you your money back. But that's as far as we're going. I think the item was only about $18. But she wants, she's going to probably get her original shipping back unless eBay lets me toggle it off, which I will when the time comes. Only these, the two on the bottom, I've already received back and given refunds to. This one, I don't know when that's ever going to come back or if it is. And these will come back. I'm just not sure when. Now, while I have you here, guys, let me tell you another little story that happened to a friend of mine a couple of days ago on eBay. The poor guy also was unfortunate enough to sell on eBay Motors. He sold a single solitary hubcap. Let's just say this one for argument's sake. This one here, I charge $22.50. So let's use this one as an example. $22.50 plus shipping. The customer gets it and files a return and says, wrong item sent. So he doesn't have to pay the return shipping back. And you know what he put in the comment section? He put, I thought I was getting all four for that price, not just one. That shows not only the customer's stupidity, but outright deception on the customer's part. And eBay is charging the seller because the buyer is dishonest. Guys, I see bad things arising. I see trouble on the way. Looks like we're in for nasty weather. And not just here in the Northeast either. Guys, I hope you enjoyed my little video about the Louisiana Purchase eBay style.
Feel free to leave your comments, questions, concerns below. And if you have a particular state that's a thorn in your side, I'd love to hear about it. Rock on and peace.